cousin Steve-O from Nebraska Star Beef, and uh, today is National Double Cheeseburger Day. It's a pretty cool day. We couldn't think of a better way to uh, celebrate this than a double smash cheeseburger. So I'm going to kind of run through how I do it. I'm not a chef. I don't pretend to be one on TV or anything like that. I'm, I'm just a just a redneck from Nebraska that likes to cook. So we'll dive in. Uh, this recipe moves along pretty quick once you start cooking. So a lot of what we want to do is get the prep work out of the way first. There's a few key things that I'm very specific about on my burgers. One of them, Rotella buns. This is another Nebraska original. If you don't have them, you should. If you do, they're the only hamburger bun worth using. Uh, other than that, Miracle Whip, the old tangy zip, is a little better with Texas Pete, so we whip those up for a little bit of a bun dressing. Uh, and butter. Today I'm going to be using salted butter, because that's all I can find this morning, because I kind of forgot last night. But typically, unsalted butter is the way to go, because then you control the salt. And controlling the salt is important, just ask Frank Proto. Anyway, here we go. First thing we're going to do, slice the onion, see if we can get some tears. It's clean and sharp, not just a pocket knife. And what we want to end up with when we're slicing the onions is just little strings. All right, so that's the minimal tears. I mean, I cry a lot anyway, but not when I'm cutting onions. Okay, so. The next thing we're going to do is get our Rotella buns toasted. And we're going to use one pound of that, one, uh, one pretty, pretty package out. We're going to use one pound to make two burgers, so two quarter pound patties per burger. This is our Prestige ground beef. This is an 80-20 blend. Really good stuff. So that's where we're headed here in a minute. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and toast our buns. So the griddle is heating up nicely. And yeah, I know it's a metal spatula and a griddle, but I'm not pushing hard, I'm not scraping, and these work much better for smashing the burger, which we'll be also getting to in a sec. So Get our bun toasted. While the bun's toasting, we're gonna whip up one of my favorite condiments. And Miracle Whip is great stuff. Miracle Whip is even better with some Texas Pete. So we're just gonna get, and this will go, I'm actually making burgers for the whole office, so uh, We'll be using a lot more than what I'm just mixing up here, but uh, this is for the magic of film. Okay, so about a cup of Miracle Whip, and we're all, most of us are fans of spicy food. We're gonna put in, I don't know, two or three tablespoons of Texas Pete, and then just use a fork and fold that together. We'll get a nice even consistency. Check these guys getting there. And with the bun, we just want to make sure we get the bun heated through evenly and a nice light toasting on it. I don't, you know, you don't want to murder them. That is about what we're after. That looks pretty nice too. We'll set that to the side. And the reason reason butter, not oil, is because butter browns quicker. And the browning is a thing called the Maillard effect, or Maillard effect, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I'm not a chef. Uh, but anyway, the butter will brown a little bit quicker, and that's gonna help to caramelize the onions in the bottom of the burger when we get to that. Uh, but it also tastes better than oil, in my opinion. But there's our Texas Pete Miracle Whip bun dressing. Okay, so second bun's looking good. We're just gonna take a little bit of our bun dressing. I like to put this on the bottom bun. 
Not gonna get too carried away, but get enough on there to, to taste. Top bun, real simple. And I do wanna go ahead and get both buns ready to go before we start cooking because this is gonna to come together pretty quick as thin as these patties will get. So, a little bit of ketchup and mustard. Next, more butter. And I wasn't kidding about using the whole stick. It may happen. I like butter. So we get our butter down. We're gonna put our milk, but we wanna keep it in a fairly small area. Then we're gonna get a pinch of onions. We'll be generous. Onions, onions are good. Put those down and then we will get our one pound package of prestige ground beef. Separated into four roughly equal parts, which will be approximately a fourth pound. If you're really, really particular about portion control, you can use a scale. I don't. Doesn't mean it's wrong. If you do. But I don't. Then we're gonna smash the burger. Smash both directions. Alright, let me see our onions. Need a couple stray onions, they can go with on top. Happy little onions, like happy little trees. Get the rest of our balls made up here. This patty, you've got some fluid coming up through the top, which means it is ready to flip. So what we're going to do, get underneath, make sure we get all the onions, flip it over. You can see we have some nice caramelization, a nice little crust formed on there. Now, this patty is going to finish cooking pretty quick. We're going to go ahead and get a temp off of it. And you want to make sure that you're using the very tip of the thermometer and just get that into the center of the patty. It's really easy on these patties to push the thermometer too far through the patty and get an incorrect reading. See this one's showing 164 degrees. Going a little further and it's dropping 150, 155. So we dropped 10 degrees just by getting to a little different part of the patty. Uh, but most of this patty is 155 degrees. So we're gonna be done here momentarily. This one is just starting to have the fluid come up through, so it's not far behind. When we get to this point, they're ready for cheese. And we're using American cheese, because we're Americans. And anything other than American cheese would be un-American. So, yeah, American cheese. We're going to let that melt, and then this patty will be ready. This one, we're going to go ahead and flip. Maybe a little early, but it'll be okay. Okay, and rinse and repeat. Okay. 
Cousin Stevo's special double smash burger for the National Double Cheeseburger Day. Tuesday, whatever day it is.